Hi, Tim Ard here. I just wanted to give you a little update on the Hexa saw chain. I had got a little bit more information, I guess, in, and also got another another loop of chain, a new box, all the information and stuff on here. And I'm glad to find out that they are going to be producing 50 gauge as well as the 063 gauge in the 3 8 this one's 84 drive links that I got in. That's for the 25 inch steel bars or 24 inch, uh, some others. Uses the 1364 hexa RH file, that's 5.2 millimeter in the hexagonal shape. And depth gauge setting 25 thousandths of an inch, 0.65 millimeters, and 25 degree top angle. Part number is a 33 RH, that's for rapid hexa. So a uh, neat looking box come out, nice uh, artist uh, drawings on the back, looks really good. And it is a, um, what we call a yellow chain. It has a, all the automatic features. Uh, it's uh, the pro series type of saw chain. So glad to see this in. Hope to be getting some files in before long. Looks like Everything may still happen around March as far as getting some of the inventories to the United States on it. So I'm hoping hoping for that anyway. But over the past few weeks, I've had some different questions and tried to answer them. A uh, group here, I've got some new pictures from this chain that I took. Shows a little bit more about the angles and that kind of thing. So you can kind of see how the chain works. But a lot of people ask me, you know, is it is it going to be easy to sharpen? And I, I believe it's going to be um, changing the, the system a good bit because it's, it's, it's something that that file, uh, I guess you'd say, self-guides it. Because in the gullet area, and you'll see from the pictures, uh, the gullet area is flat. And so as you take the file, it's flat on the bottom side, and then it has a flat top with a reference line on it. And as you push it through, then that basically keeps everything at the proper level so it's not going too high or too low. It's going to be quite easy to, to sharpen the chain. I've used it now in, I don't know, probably 10 different types of wood, some green, some dry. And in all cases, it seems to be holding an edge pretty well. You know, it cuts well in, uh, I don't know, two or three different oaks, uh, red oak and white oak. Uh, I've used it in... Uh, all types of, of pine, hemlock. I've used it a good bit in, in sweet gum. MS362C, it has the uh, Hexa Rapid Super chain, 63 gauge, 20 inch bar. And so we're gonna see how it works here on this, this gum lock. And it just, it, it tends to do very, very well and always pulls great chips. I mean, it is, um, it is definitely smooth. Uh, it's, uh, as people would like, a little aggressive out of the box. In other words, it's, it's not something that you'd have to jump right out and, and sharpen a new one to begin with, is what I found on the sample that I had. Advantage-wise, people ask me, you know, well, what's the big advantage to it? Well, this is not a square ground saw chain. It's, it's not a chisel bit chain. Um, it is a full chisel chain, in other words, square side, square top. From my experience, it's still not a dirty wood uh, chain for dirty situations. It is a, a full chisel point, but it is, it is something the way the hexa file cuts down the, the side plate I think it really supports the the point a lot better uh, than having the V of a square ground or square grind going up to the point. I don't I don't believe myself that it would be as fast as a as a square ground chain. It wasn't in in the case I've tried anyway, but it is uh, tends to be a little bit better faster than a round ground. So. Um, and, and much easier, I think, to sharpen. 
I think something else too is is that it it, it doesn't have a, a you know a two step process as far as making sure that the gullet is taken back out uh, as it is in round filing. Uh, there's not the resistance in the um, in the surface area there that uh, gets you know kind of resistance to the kerf. So it's it's going to be uh, going to be a pretty pretty decent chain to to work with. Negatives, uh, really the only thing that I know of at this point is going to be uh, availability. Uh, from my standpoint anyway, I'm not sure on what the pricing is going to be as far as the chain or the files. We'll, we'll find that out. And right now, it's just a, a supply situation getting it out uh, to retail. So uh, we'll see how that how that goes. I've got some little clips that I've put together as far as the the filing goes, and you can kind of see how the how the file sits in the face of the tooth. And I've got some better pictures of this chain as far as what uh, what the uh, the side plate looks like and things like that. So uh, a couple different things of filing position. The tooth angles simply follow the surfaces at a lower position on the file's cutting surfaces and I can file through. And so this hexafile actually, more or less, it rides a flat edge against the gullet or the bottom there, and it keeps it the right height. So as I file through, keeping that 25 degree angle, cuts the channel that I need into the side plate. A very nice chain to add in to several different applications, I think, so. I'm looking forward to using it more. I think other than that, like I say, hopefully we'll be seeing it in the next 30 to 60 days with some form of availability. Well, I wanna thank you all for dropping by and please subscribe and press like and let us know uh, if you have any questions about anything. We'd like to put together more videos and more answers out there to help you along in your sawing. Uh, we hope that you are able already to pick up some things that you can use and utilize in these uh, Tim's Tips sessions. So thanks for dropping by, and we wish you good sawing out there, wherever you might be.